Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I've got a crispy smashed roasted potatoes recipe for you with bacon and mustard and thyme. This is a beautiful treatment for America's favorite vegetable, second favorite vegetable if you are counting ketchup. So let's get started because it's really easy. And first thing we're gonna do, I've got some water here that is coming to a boil. You don't need like a whole giant pot of water, y'all. Just um, enough to cover your potatoes. I'm using these little baby potatoes here. So I'm gonna add a little salt to this water. And then we're gonna drop in our potatoes. And then you just wanna boil the taters. Don't be a hater, been a model and an actor, and now I'm a rapper. Sorry guys, thanks for indulging me. I just, um, when I get like music in my heart, I have to let it out because it's the way I express myself. And if I don't, then I get really bad heartburn. So. Thanks for listening. Um, so we're gonna boil these potatoes for maybe like 10 to 12 minutes until they're tender enough to be poked all the way through with a skewer. Poke it with a skewer. Meanwhile, dogs. Yeah, you guys are assholes. And that's why you have to stay outside. So these potatoes, we're gonna season them with bacon and mustard and thyme. So I've just got a couple strips of bacon here that I'm gonna chop up pretty small. If you wanna keep these vegetarian, you can totally use butter or olive oil instead of the bacon fat. And you can really use any kind of herbs or seasonings that you like. I've listed a bunch on my website. So that's good. And then I've got some fresh thyme. People get kind of hung up on the tediousness of dealing with tiny little fresh herb leaves. <whistles> Oven's preheated, everybody. Uh, but it's really easy. You just take it and kind of and it helps if you make that little sound. And you just kind of like pull it, pull your fingers down like that. And the leaves just pop right off, don't they? just like that. So maybe like two teaspoons worth of, of thyme leaves. You could use dried, but I do think that with this particular recipe, because we're roasting it at such a high temperature, fresh herbs work a little bit better because dried herbs make it burned. But you can use rosemary or sage or oregano, any kind of like woody things like that go really nicely with potatoes. So we'll know that they're done when you can take a skewer or like a paring knife or whatever and Stab it through and there's not really any resistance, but they're not like splitting open yet. Good deal, we're just gonna drain these real quick. I'm gonna do it the dangerous way. So you could also use a colander if you put safety first. All right. I am then, so for this, I'm gonna put some grainy mustard. I bet like horseradish or something would be really good too. And then as longtime viewers know, I keep my jar of bacon fat, which actually is running pretty low in the fridge. Every time I make bacon, just pour off the extra grease into a jar and keep it for flavoring stuff. So I'm using that, but if you don't have that, um, duck fat is great if you can get your paws on some duck fat, or like I said, oil or butter. So you can just toss this around. Actually, the quietest way is to just put the lid back on and kind of Shake it around. And just dump the potatoes right in. You could use a baking sheet too, but you know, cast iron works great. And then we're just gonna start smashing them. So I'm just gonna use the glass. I mean, anything that a flat bottom will work. All right, so once everything is flattened, I'm going to take the rest of this mustard that's will invariably be left behind and just kind of spoon it over the top. Then we're gonna sprinkle little bacon bits all around and try to get them like on top of the potatoes as well as touching the pan because the ones that touch the pan are going to end up a lot crispier than the ones on top. But then you get like this nice texture mixture. And this is great too because you can boil the potatoes ahead of time and keep them in the fridge and then just whenever you want a quick, awesome side dish, just smash them and pour seasonings on them and bake them. It's dope. And then our thyme, a little sprinkle of that. Try to get it more even than I just did. And then we're gonna do just salt and pepper on top. And I like to use kind of a coarse grind of both. For again, for some 
texture, a little crunchy texture on top. Okay, then into a 425 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes until the bacon is cooked and everything's kind of crispy on top. Just like that. Yes. This recipe and all my recipes are always available at hylacooking.com in printable format with other notes and pictures and recipe ideas. So check it out. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. You know the drill. All right, let's taste one of these bad boys. They're, these are so good. Look at that. A little crunchy bottom, crunchy top. Oh shit, it's really hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Man, those are so good. I hope you try these. Please send me a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, hashtag Harley Cooking, and I would love to see your finished product. Have a great day.